Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another unboxing. Now this is the second kit that I purchased from Paint Some Way. Paint Some Way is a new company to me and I saw that people on YouTube and on the stamped cross-stitch site on Facebook I've had a few kits from Paint Some Way and I wanted to try them out for myself. So the last unboxing video that I did, I unboxed the Friday the 13th one. So this one, yes, <laughs> this one is a Disney kit. Now obviously I opened the package because my Friday the 13th one was in the same package. And yes. What it is, so I can see off the bat now. If you remember, with the Friday the 13th kit, I didn't have any tool kit with it, and I didn't have any needles with it as well, which was very unusual, very strange. However, I have with this one, so I'm gonna turn it over and we'll see what we've got. Yeah, and it's upside down. <laughs> Just put that on there so you don't see the chart. So this is what we've got here. We're going to have a look at the chart first. So um, I saw this. I mainly went on the pack somewhere because I wanted to have a look at the Friday the 13th kit. And I thought, well, if I'm sending off for that, I might as well get something else <laughs> as well. So I saw this. Uh, I love my Disney. And Beauty and the Beast has always been a, one of favourite of mine. It's uh, mine and my best friend. Um, we've been friends for 36 years now. And we've both always loved Beauty and the Beast. So, yeah, I thought I'd stitch this. <laughs> so this is going to be on 11 count. And it is a 50 by 65 centimetres. And it is 191 by 256 stitches. So it's a fairly big one. Now at the back we've got our instructions here. It's all on one piece of paper and it's on the shiny back paper. You've got your standard instructions for cross stitch. Whether you're new to cross stitch or just touching up. Um, you've got your information there. But you've also got cleaning and maintenance, which comes in handy, especially for when you have got a stamped cross stitch and you want to know how to get the printing out the fabric later. So we'll take a little look at the actual chart itself. Now I'm not going to be able to... <laughs> it's a big chart. Now I'm not going to be able to obviously open the full chart itself because it is massive it's quite big however i'll open some of it so this is some of the chart now in the right hand corner you've got a picture of what it is it's not that clear but it's not that bad because for one on the chart itself i can see the symbols the symbols look clear enough to me when my camera lens goes into focus and my notifications on YouTube go off. You've got your list of colours which are down the side. And there's a lot in this one. There's actually... My camera lens goes into focus. There's actually 47 colours to this one. You've got your symbols. Lots of symbols there. Your colour corresponding codes and then you've got your colours corresponding to the numbers down there. And this is the bottom of the chart as well. So I was thinking, I wonder if we're going to get a lot of black uh, 310. However, I don't think you do because you're just getting the top corners and the bottom corners as well. So that is the chart. Now I will try and fold this chart. I'm going to try and fold it like that because then I can get it into the, um, what do you call it? I can put it back into the, oh, my makeshift project bag. <laughs> yeah, so that is the chart. 
Now this one, as I said, it comes with a tool kit, a standard tool kit. You've got, I was kind of, even though I've got a fair few needles and everything, I was kind of a slight little bit bummed that the Friday the 13th one didn't come with a tool kit. However, with this one, you've got your needle threader. I don't really use these partially, mainly probably because I'm not that... Oh, because it's shine on there. Because I'm not that picky on how to use them. We've got our thimble. And then we've got our pom-pom with our needles. So we've got about, I'd say probably about roughly five needles with these and they're the gold tip ones now the gold i know a couple of people that do have problems with the gold tip needles but i must be honest i've never had a problem with them so they don't really bother me so that is what you get in the tool kit so i'm glad we've got a nice little tool kit with this one so i'll just pop that to the side and then we'll take a look at the colors before we have a look at the fabric so the colours, we've got quite a lot of colours in here because obviously, like I said, there's 47 different colours in this kit. So we've got a lot of different coloured cloths for this one. And I'll put that there. So it looks like we've got some extra hanks here. So we've got an extra hank of this one, which is... It don't see number 40 don't actually say the no colour it yeah it does <laughs> 712 so we've got an extra hank of that one we've got an extra hank of this one which is 745 and then we've got an extra hank of i know this one it's 310 so we've got an extra hank of 310 as well. So we've got three extra hanks in three different colours. And then, <coughs> sorry, bugging my throat. And then we'll get on to the floss cards. Now we have got two floss cards here. So I'll do one floss card first and then I'll do the other one. In a moment so we've got here numbers 37 to 47 so we've got dark blues nice lighty blue a very dark slate gray extremely dark gray reds nice color there <laughs> nice lime green there we've got some beautiful colors here so absolutely love those absolutely gorgeous so I'll just wrap that up and then we'll have a look at the other floss. So the hover, hover, where have I got hover from? So the other colours we've got are these. Get my arm around camera there. So we've got some nice pinks, blues, greys, dark greens, orange, more pink, green. Now this here that's a really nice green these two are really lovely greens and we've got some really dark chocolate there it looks kind of black on camera but it's like a chocolate color some more pinks aren't they gorgeous absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful colors and then on this one we have got some i love that pink got a lovely pink colour there nice green this is 310 because it's only got one strand on there so we've got our extra hank of that got some really nice here that reminds me of a really dark muted plum oh i love this one that is gorgeous that is a really gorgeous now on camera it looks more pink but off camera it's actually more red that one is gorgeous purple there and you've got some really nice greens down here as well and then you've got your orangey colors and yellows which i'm guessing are for belle's dress absolutely beautiful colors there i love oh i just love looking at for different floss when you 
unboxing a new cross stitch kit I just love looking at the different kinds of floss so that is our floss that we've got now we're going to have a look at the actual canvas itself so the canvas itself now I'm not going to be able to get all of it on camera again but it looks like it's going to be a fairly big canvas it is so we'll get part of it on so the edges are surged which is which is a good thing because it's not got too much of a, a a border it's decent but it's not got too much of one however it is surged so that is fantastic as i said before it is 11 counts so you'll be using three strands of thread however i think i've heard of people that's been using two strands on an 11 count i've never tried it myself and i'm not sure to be honest that i would want to try just the two strands but a fair be uh 50 by 65 centimeters as i stated before 191 by 256 stitches <clears throat> on the right hand side you've got your picture as well which yeah you can't really see that <laughs> and then you've got your numbers down the side and also your symbols which the symbols down the side look really clear we've got what looks like possibly two we've got this one here it's not all completely clear here the numbers on there it looks more clear but in off camera it doesn't that one's red we've got an orange down here which is 42 got it there and then you've got your other couple of symbols down there again you've got your color code down there however you haven't got your corresponding colors there so we're going to have a look at it in four parts at the actual stamping itself so as for the stamping itself it looks all right it looks all right i'm not going to say it's crystal clear i'm not going to say it's crystal clear however it's definitely clear enough to see it. it's like these ones here that those are a little bit blurred slight bit blurred i don't know if those are an arrow or a cross so we'll have a look on here because there is a cross there but it's black we've got let's have a look again the uh the symbols here so it's purple kind of some of it looks like an arrow but i don't think we've got a purple arrow here oh yeah we have we've got one there so yeah we have got a purple arrow there so yeah that i was a bit unsure then whether that was an actual arrow or whether it was a cross um yeah as i said it's not absolute crystal clear but it's clear enough for me to see it so let's have a look at the other side so the other side um again it looks all right it looks the same not exactly crystal clear but clear enough to know with stitches this one here these well if you didn't know what it was it says 38 there but just ignore that 38 and if you went by the symbols then symbols would be a bit blurry i wouldn't know whether those are red arrows or red crosses so obviously we know it's number 38 yeah the arrows 38 arrows these do look a slight bit blurred arrows you could mistake them for blurred crosses so yeah it's slightly a bit blurred it's doable then um, doable right let's take a look at the bottom so the bottom part of the canvas it's like this we seem to have quite a very bit of confetti stitching in this i will say especially around this part here 
that is very confetti so yeah I might because this is because some of the symbols are slight bit blurred I might possibly do this in tent stitch because it might minimize how much it covers up a symbol because I've recently started stitching on a kit <clears throat> um, and I was stitching on it on four cross however I've working on it a little bit I've noticed it's starting to cover some of the other symbols because the symbols are slightly off they're not exactly on the cross so I've converted it from normal cross stitch into tent stitch I just hope it looks okay when I've um, worked on it a bit more and it doesn't look odd because I did the top right corner in cross stitch and I've just suddenly gone to tent stitch so here so you have got your sunblock colours like these bits sorry you can't even see that like your block colours here you've got block colour there bit of block here your squares there block colour but as I said before you have got a lot of confetti as well and you've got a big well chunk of block there so I think it looks all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. I like it. So let's take a look again. I'm pleased with the kit and I'm sure it's going to look gorgeous. That is going to be the rose there. Because obviously if we look on the chart here, 16 minutes already. The chart here, we've got the rose, which will be that there. So yeah, overall, it's not a bad canvas, not crystal clear, but I'm not too mad at it. As long as the symbols are actually on the squares when I come... They look like they're on the squares at the minute, but as long as they're actually dot on the squares on the dot, it shouldn't be a problem. I will be stitching this, as I said, in 10 stitch because I just think that's how it's going to do better. It's got some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Really, really beautiful colours. Now, pricing-wise, I didn't get the price. Yeah, I know. Half the time when I do these videos, I tend completely forget to do the price on them. However, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below in the descriptions below to paint some way. I'm not sponsored by them in any ways, but I'll just leave it there for you. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for you personally, because as I said, these kits I've purchased myself. However, on these sites, you do have a lot of uh, good offers on like buy four, get one free kind of thing. So it's worth taking a look at. Um, if I can find the link to this cross stitch, I'll leave it in the descriptions below however if i can't find the link to this one i will leave a link in to maybe the cartoons part of it and see if that'll help you out so pricing wise i'm guessing this was roughly about 12 pound could be a bit less i don't know anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there for now i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, if you have, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. So goodbye for now, guys. Bye.